So um, in one of my classes, I show my students Pinocchio, you know, the Disney movie. And the story opens up with a puppet, right? And the puppet is marionette, is something that's having its strings pulled by forces it doesn't understand. And the maker of that puppet, that's Geppetto, you know. So you can think about him as a stand-in for God the Father, if you'd like, because he creates this thing that's not quite formed. And because Geppetto is a good father, he wishes on a star that his son could become real. Now, every good father wishes that, by the way. And Geppetto says, like every father does, that's pretty bloody unlikely. The probability that you're going to stay a puppet with things manipulating you behind the scenes is really high. But because Geppetto is a good guy, he wishes that, and then nature and culture conspire together to make it happen. Right now, one of the morals of that little story, and there are many, is that in order to have the best possible thing happen, that you have to lift your eyes above the local and look into the transcendent. Now, in that story, that takes the form of a star. It's something distant and maybe even something awe-inspiring, as, as Ronnie pointed out. But the point, of the, the point of the film, and everyone understands this when they watch it, whether they notice they understand it or not, is that for the best of all possible things to happen, and in this case, it's that a true individual is born, it's necessary to start by establishing a relationship with something that's transcendent. Now, all of you have watched Pinocchio, right? And you fell right into it. But I bet you, you didn't understand it. And it doesn't matter, because it affected you at a level that's so damn deep that it captured your attention and you watched it, even though, just for the sake of argument, you might know that it involves a puppet rescuing his father from a whale. Now, you can understand that. Now, that's kind of strange, don't you think? Because it's as irrational as can possibly be. And my point is, fundamentally, that the reason you can understand things like that is because you have a religious substructure, whether you know it or not. And so you might as well know it, because if you knew it, things would work better.